The purpose of this video is to explain what research databases are and how they are different from searching Google. First of all, let's talk about what exactly is a research database. A database is a searchable collection of resources, usually containing millions of items. The LSC libraries subscribe to around 100 databases, covering a variety of topics and types of sources. Content from the databases is subscription only and usually comes from sources not available for free via Google. Sometimes you can find some of these sources in Google, but in order to view the full text, you're required to submit payment, often $25 to $50 per article or even more. Let's look at some of the items you will find in a research database. Research databases can contain articles from newspapers and magazines, as well as professional trade publications and scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. In addition, some databases will also contain electronic books or eBooks, encyclopedias, streaming videos such as documentaries, and images. While a Google search may be easy to do and familiar to you, finding reliable content on Google may sometimes be difficult due to how Google organizes search results. Also, databases often have features geared toward helping student researchers such as citation generators and the ability to limit results by article type. Another key difference between research databases and Google is how the search engine, the software that takes what you type in and provides a list of results, interprets your search and sorts your results. Google relies on a complicated series of algorithms to take what you type in, interpret the meaning of your search string, and provide a ranked list of search results based on what it thinks you were actually looking for. Often, they use data from how previous searchers of the same topic interacted with the search results. There's a lot more to how Google search works, but let's just say that Google takes what you type in and then gives you results based on what it thinks you want. The research databases rely more on keyword searching, matching your search results to what you actually typed in the search box. First-time users of research databases often get frustrated because the type of search they use in Google doesn't work well in the research databases. However, once you learn how to properly format your database search, you'll find that there is a treasure trove of resources at your fingertips. In order to successfully use the research databases, you'll need to focus on finding appropriate keywords to describe your topic. To brainstorm keywords for your topic, Start by picking out the most important words in your topic. Then brainstorm synonyms for each of your keywords. You may want to do a quick Google search to see what other terms are used to describe your topic. You should also think about related terms to your topic. Some other tips for brainstorming keywords include making a list or mind map of all the things you already know about your topic scanning reference articles or Wikipedia for more keyword ideas, and keeping a running list of keywords and related terms as you find them in your research. Now that you know some of the keywords you'll use for your research, it's time to learn a bit about how to put those keywords together. Most research databases use proximity searching, meaning that when you type in a string of words in the search bar, the research databases will look for results containing all of those words in close proximity to each other. Your keywords will either be right next to each other or separated by just one or two words. Because of this, you'll need to use Boolean searching to get the best search results. Boolean searching uses the words and, or, and not to create your search string. Let's start with and. When you use and between two keywords in your search, you are telling the research database that you want both of those words in your search, but they don't necessarily have to be next to each other. A Boolean search for dog and cat will result in articles that mention both dogs and cats. The keywords may be far apart from each other in the article, or they might be right next to each other. The important thing is that and ensures that both words are in your search results. Now let's take a look at or. When you put or between your keywords, we're specifying that you want your results to include either of those terms. A Boolean search for dog or cat will result in some articles that only mention dogs, some that only mention cats, and some that mention both dogs and cats. Or is the broadest search operator 
and will retrieve the most results. Our final Boolean operator is not. Not eliminates results containing the keyword following the word not. In this search, dog not cat, we will eliminate any search results that have the word cat in them. Not is the most restrictive of the Boolean operators, and we suggest that you only use it as a last resort when you find that you are getting too many articles that are off topic. To review, our Boolean operators are and, or, and not. Most of the time you will just use and, but there may be times when you need to use the other Boolean operators to get the best search results. Now that you know how to choose keywords and use Boolean operators, let's put it all together. Here we have our topic, our list of keywords, and our related terms. We know that we want to add articles that mention something from our first column as well as something from our second column. So we will use the Boolean operator AND for this search. You may have to try a few searches, mixing and matching terms to find a search that works best for your topic. Remember to also search your related topics as well. You can see that when we use a Boolean search for our topic, we are much more successful in searching the research databases. If you have any questions about library research, contact a librarian. Librarians are available online via email, chat, and text. You can also schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with a librarian for more in-depth research assistance. Check our online reference hours at cyflib.info slash hours.